Hello, members of the Finance and Governance Committee and Mayor, Mayor Pro Tem, members of the City Council and the public. This is Donna Ventura, the Assistant Chief Financial Officer, and I'm here to present an item related to the city's uh, continuing efforts to strengthen our system of internal controls and infrastructure around those controls. The recommendation for the Finance and Governance Committee is to provide feedback on a proposed City Council policy for development and implementation of internal controls and recommend City Council approve the proposed policy. The recommendation for the City Council will be to approve the proposed policy. This is a fairly short item. I'm just going to do a brief uh, review of the nine policies associated with the Internal Control Integrated Framework, or ICIF. Several of these policies have already been previously approved by the Council. And then I'll uh, provide an overview of the specific policy that we're presenting for adoption related to the development and implementation of internal controls. So as I mentioned, there are nine uh, policies that are prescribed by the ICIF that cover about um, five different categories, the control environment, risk assessment, control activities, information and communication, and monitoring activities. These first four under control environment, those policies were adopted on September 1st by the council. The fifth policy related to performance evaluations was previously existing and in place, so no need to propose a new policy there. And then on um, January 5th, just last month, the council adopted the risk assessment responsibilities policy. So today we'll be talking about the next policy in this um, proposed framework called Development and Implementation of Internal Controls. So this is an implementation, an implementing policy that is um, defining the council's activities as they relate to development and implementation of internal controls. It essentially is reaffirming the council's commitment to hold management accountable for establishing and putting in place appropriate control activities and monitoring compliance with those controls. So what are the activities um, that this policy defines for the council? First is that the council manager to develop internal controls tailored to the city's structure, risk exposure, and resource levels. To the extent resource levels are not adequate to reduce risk in some areas, the council will reassess its risk tolerance philosophy and provide specific direction to the city manager. The city practices shall comply with ICIF principles and components related to internal control. And lastly, controls shall be developed that respond to and assure compliance with findings from external and or internal audits and that consider the outcomes of risk assessments performed in accordance with the risk assessment policy that was just approved last month. Our next steps in implementing the ICIF are to first in the spring of 2021, engage a consulting firm to perform that comprehensive risk assessment as the first step in um, uh, adopting a new risk um, management framework and um, risk management program. And then for the remainder of 2021, we will be bringing the last two ICIF policies to the Finance and Governance Committee and to City Council. And those policies um, deal with information and communication and monitoring activities. And that's the end of the presentation. And I will be available at both meetings to answer questions and receive your feedback. Thank you for your attention.